Domestic abuse cases saw amid coronavirus lockdown, with charities no longer being able to effectively support victims. Here's a summary of the article. More than 25 organisations helping domestic violence victims have reported an increase in their caseload since the start of the UK's coronavirus epidemic. An audit of 119 organisations by the domestic abuse charity Safe Lives found that even as pressure on frontline services increased, most were being forced to reduce vital services. Most domestic abuse organizations provide face-to-face -face or phone support, but a quarter say they cannot effectively support adult abuse victims owing to technical issues, inability to meet victims, and staff sickness. There is growing pressure on the government to announce emergency funding to help victims. Hira Hussein, founder of Chain, said, survivors of domestic abuse are walking on eggshells, scared of having no support if tensions escalate. Evidence suggests that domestic abuse is likely to increase as a result of the pandemic. In China's Hubei province, where the virus was first detected, domestic violence reports to police more than tripled during the lockdown in February. This post received a score of 20,556, with an upvote ratio of 96%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. How much must it suck to live with abusive people and on top of that being locked in their house? A lot. Imagine that your only relief is when they leave for work or you get to go away for a bit. Not to mention those who need shelters. This lockdown, unfortunately necessary, will cause a lot of pain for those who are suffering from abuse. Which is another reason we need to work fast at getting things back to a manageable level. This has become my core argument for UBI. How many people are stuck in abusive relationships because they can't afford to leave? I'm a DV prosecutor and this is the number one reason I get, but I can't pay rent if they are in jail, has killed so many cases and wrecked any chance of the abuser going to jail for a while. My country pays your rent even if you cannot pay yourself. You can live in your own apartment if you want to on zero income and we still have high domestic violence and murder, suicide sad face, a lot of it is just psychology, people are scared of making changes and being alone after leaving their abusive partner because they are emotionally dependent on them. For sure, it's all psychology. These people go through hell and sometimes can't see a way out. That's awesome that peeps can rely on social services like that where you are. Here we just have various non-profits that I can guide them to. Greater than that's awesome that peeps can rely on social services like that where you are. Yeah, it makes leaving abusive people significantly easier. People just need to make that first step themselves. That first step is also the most dangerous. That's when they're most likely to be killed and worse. Yup, if emotional dependence isn't strong enough to for victims to stay then the fear of above-mentioned consequences most often is. I'm in a situation where I just moved into an apartment for six months with what I thought was a really cool, laid-back gay couple. Unfortunately, one of them physically and psychologically abuses his partner, who is like the smallest dude I've ever met, almost every night. The kicker is that the abuser is my landlord and I'm stuck in this fucking apartment until October. Cover your own ass. Take audio recordings of the abuse going on in case the police get involved and they try to blame you. Greater than cover your own ass. Degree degree. He needs an album cover. Just had to phone the police today for a neighbor who popped a note through the letter box saying her husband is physically and emotionally abusing her and has broken all phones in the house so she cannot call for herself. Thankfully he has been removed from the house now. If anyone out there is suffering from stuff like this please remember that there are more good people out there than bad. Don't be afraid to ask for help, no one should have to live like that. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.